Hey everyone, this is Brad from Out of This Universe Toys. Just want to thank you all for tuning back in for another mail call. Recently I got some Godzilla figures and then this sweet vintage packaged Hoth Wampa from the Black Series line. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. I'm not a big fan of the foil they put on it. I was kind of hoping just for standard. But when I ordered it from Hasbro Pulse, I guess I didn't pay attention to that part. It's still still pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie. I, I love the vintage packaging. As I said in some other videos, I'm a sucker for it. They throw it in vintage packaging, I'm buying it. But um, yeah, so I got the, the Wampa from Hasbro Pulse. And then I picked up these Godzillas from Entertainment Earth. So we got the Godzilla from the Godzilla Mothra and King Ghidorah Giant Monsters All Out Attack. So go ahead, pop that open real quick. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that awesomeness. Try to get that out of the reflection here. Yeah, it's, uh, look at that blue. The blue really pops. I believe he's got a beam in there somewhere where he's shooting the fire out of his mouth that you can see on the side panel there. This, this is a rad looking figure. I'm a big Godzilla guy. I just got started on the Godzilla NECA figures. Those are my favorite. Don't really care for the other ones and I guess recently NECA lost their Godzilla license, so that'll save me some money, <laughs> which honestly, I'm all about at this point. But uh, yeah, I mean, obviously they did the awesome packaging. I mean, the, the packaging on these NECA figures are just amazing. Flip it around here, get a little side shot. Yeah, it's really unfortunate though that they lost that license. These are some very cool figures. And then let's go ahead and we'll pull over this other Godzilla figure. This is Godzilla versus Yolante. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Gotta be honest with you, I've never even seen this film. Just goes back to, I love Godzilla. I love reptiles in general, so kind of why big into Godzilla see that awesome side paneling though very cool Let's see if we can get a good shot of him in there and Mecca you guys rock I wish you guys didn't lose this license but once again that artwork Exceptional, it's beautiful, beautiful. Get a shot of them on the back here. The other side panel. Oh yeah, I love that box. And then, last but not least, the Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Hoff Wampa, foil based. The foil, not a big fan of it. Vintage packaging, all day baby. But uh, yeah, I guess it's going with the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back, so they've released some other ones earlier this year. But uh, the foil, you know, it's making it hard to get a good shot without the reflection. But yeah, it's just, Basically like the original Wampa, but you know, the 1980 version from Kenner. But this is six inch black series one. Man, Star Wars fans, tell me. That vintage packaging isn't straight fire. My God, I love it. Didn't even need this figure, but like I said earlier, put them in these boxes and I cannot control myself <laughs> Get a little side shot here 
I'm running out of room, folks. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. But, yeah, so we got the Wampa from Hasbro Pulse. And then we got the Godzillas from Entertainment Earth. Which I'm pretty sure you can pick these Godzillas up at Target, wherever NECA sold. But I just happened to get them from Entertainment Earth. But, excellent figures. Get them if you can. I uh, definitely recommend them, all three of them. But uh, thanks for tuning in for another mail call. Uh, if you guys want me to change the name for mail call or do some reviews or any other ideas you all might have, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll try to make those type of videos. But thanks again for tuning in and uh, hit me up. Let's talk toys. Until the next episode, talk to you guys later.